teaches us about our life, the universe, and the world around us. Thanks to science, we have longer, healthier, and more comfortable lifestyles, giving us more choices and opportunities, far from many fears and sufferings of past generations. Science has enabled enormous advancements in areas such as genetic engineering, robotics, and artificial intelligence. The question is, has science eliminated the need for God? I discuss three points to answer this question. Firstly, scientists argue that we should only believe on what can be scientifically proven and since God's existence cannot be established scientifically, belief in God cannot be justified. Science for most people has become the ultimate source of truth. But while science is a very important source of obtaining truth, it is definitely not the only one. Beauty cannot be tested. Love cannot be quantified. Ideas cannot be bottled up. Morals cannot be investigated. Our memory cannot be weighed. And logic cannot be analysed. The Bible is the standard for absolute truth and God alone is autonomous, independent and self-existence. John 8.32 says, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Also in John 17, verse 17 it says, Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Secondly, Science has given us the knowledge and power, but it has not given us the wisdom to use them. There is no question that science has given us untold blessings, but it has also been used for monstrous distractions and human miseries, the decision of which is dependent on the moral and ethical values which lie outside the domain of science. As we move into the future, nuclear science, environment, information technology and biotechnology are some of the areas where humanity is most at risk. Christian faith can act as a moral grounding to guide ethical decisions that science failed to address. Jesus said, love your neighbour as yourself. When you have that love, Science will be a blessing to all. Thirdly, science works only because we live in an orderly and understandable universe created and sustained by God. If you look at the history of science, you discover that the majority of scientists in the past were Christians. It was because of their belief in God that they became scientific. They believed that the universe was ordered by a creator and that it was open to exploration and discovery. Nicholas Copernicus, the champion of the sun, centered universe, believed that understanding the universe was a form of worship. After spending years of his life worshiping God by examining the motions of the sun, moon and stars, Copernicus concluded that the earth revolves around the sun. Johannes Kepler was the founder of modern astronomy. He was motivated by the conviction that God created the universe according to plan and that through observation, research and reason we get to understand that plan. He took over Copernicus's work to explain the motions of the planets. Sir Isaac Newton, the greatest scientific genius the world has ever known, was a believer in Christ. He believed that natural laws could only cope and proceed from the counsel and dominion of God. Newton, best known for his work in gravity, also discovered calculus, a Powerful method for solving mathematical problems developed three laws of motion from the basic principles of modern physics. Explain the motions of the planets, 
contributed to light and optics. He even seemed to demonstrate finally that scientific reasoning was the way to approach problems, yet he believed there was a God. Now, how is it that we get to the 21st century where leading scientists tell us we've got to choose between science or God, while the original pioneers do not see any conflict? Going back to the question, has science eliminated the need for God? The answer is no. The fact that we understand how the universe works is not a valid argument for rejecting God. Rather, science gives us an opportunity to understand God better and increase our appreciation of what he has created.